Hello folks, in this session I am going to demonstrate how to install Golang distribution and how to set up the Golang ID from JetBrains so that you can start doing development in the Golang. So in order to do the development in Go, we need two things. One is the Go distribution which is also known as the Go tools. So if you navigate to the golang.org in the install web page, you'll be able to find the go distribution download path. If you navigate to the downloads, then you will notice that there are different distributions. The stable distribution version is 1.12.1 and there are different distribution the stable ones for Windows, for Apple, Mac and for Linux. Now in this demonstration, I'm making use of Ubuntu. So I will make use of the Linux distribution. The second requirement to do the development in Golan is you need some kind of IDE. And one of the best IDE for doing the development in Golan is Golan from JetBrains. Or there also you will find the Golang for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Again, I will be downloading the Golang for Linux. Now there are two different aspect. One aspect is if you want to make use of the enterprise edition, then it comes with the evaluation license key, which is valid for the 30 day. If you are a student or if you are learning Golang, which is not the commercial purpose, then you can opt for the student license. In that particular case, you can make use of your university email ID or if you are taking any course on Udemy, then you can just produce the document or the photocopies of the bills or receipts. And then I believe that you will be able to opt for the student license. In order to keep the thing simple, I will just download the enterprise edition, which is valid for the 30 days. Once I download the files, I will just navigate to the, I will just navigate to the directory in which I have downloaded the distribution zip and the ID zip. So I have this go directory in which I have already downloaded the go 1.12.1 Linux AMD 64 gz and golan 2018 3.5 tar.gz now let's get started with the go distribution setup so if you just navigate to the install web page then you will find that you have to untar it to the user local and in general the documentation page talks about the version OS and the architecture, the processor architecture, so that they don't have to change the documentation every time there is a new release of Go. So I will just use this command and I just need to select the 1.12.1 tar.gz. Now, if you don't use the sudo or the root access, then you are supposed to get such kind of error that you don't have the permission. So either you do the sudo su or just use the sudo. Once this operation is done, if you navigate to the user local over there, you should see the go distribution and you should see the go distribution like this. Now, once it is done, I need to set this up in the bash profile so that I don't have to set up the environment variables every time I want to make use of the Golang or the Go distribution, which is the Go tool. Because we need to add this path to the path environment variable. The path is nothing but the user local go pin. 
so let me just open the bash profile so either you can navigate to etc and profile or you can just make use of the home profile so i have already done or i have already added the environment variables in this file so if you see sedulously then you will notice that you have the export path which appends the user local go bin path to the path variable then there is one more thing that has to be done if you are not creating the workspace under user local go which you may not prefer to do because you might want to make use of other mounted disk to keep your workspace in order to decouple your workspace from your ubuntu home directory or disk then in that case you have to set up the go path in the demonstration i already created the workspace directory under this path so i i will just go ahead and create the go path environment variable now once it is done you have to save this file and then you have to source so that you can start making use of this variables now once it is done the next step is to install the go land which is the id so you, i assume that you have already downloaded the linux setup and let me just navigate to the let me just navigate to the directory in which i have downloaded the file so i have already unzipped the go land tar so if you go to the go land directory over there you will find the you will find the bin folder inside the bin you will find the go land sh so just execute that command and if it is the first execution of that command then you will see that you get the dialog box which says that welcome to goland and then you have the option of creating the new project open project or check out from version control now you keep the plugins as they are because by default goland comes up with the good plugins which are required for the day to day development processes so you keep the plugins as they are and then you will get the option of setting up the workspace so as i said you may want to set up the workspace into the different disk or into the different path so that's why we have already defined the go path variable and now that variable points to the workspace location so you just need to import that workspace or point that workspace into the go land id once it is done you should see no project in the id so let me just remove this project let me just create the new project so i create the new project the location is my workspace and then this is hello world and the next thing is the go root which points to the go sdk now this go sdk is nothing but the go tool or the go distribution that we have already set up under user local go now if you have not done that setup then immediately do the setup because unless or until you have the sdk you will not be able to do any kind of development in go so make it sure that automatically the ide has already figured out where the go distribution setup is installed otherwise you will have to 
manually navigate to this path and make it sure that you have selected user local go under the go route. The next thing is I need to create the new go file. So I will select the kind as the simple application and then I will select the name as the hello world and then you will see that the package is main and then like java main function public static void main you have the main function in go and let's say if we just want to print on the console something like welcome to the world or hello world this is my first go application then i just need to make use of fmt package the fmt package is nothing but a formatted io package in go which allows me or which provides me the functionalities so that i can perform some interactive analysis with the console the go console so let me just select the fmt print ln which will print the message onto the new line and over here i just need to say hello world this is my first application now if you right click you will see that run and then the go build hello world so we are going to build this particular application and then we are going to see the output on the console Now you should see the fmt.println and then hello world this is my first application right click and then you will see that you have this hello world this is my first application getting displayed on the console. So that's how simple is to set up the go distribution go IDE and then write the hello world sample application. Now there are a few common issues that you have to be aware of. One issue is not having the setup of Go SDK or the Go distribution under user local Go. In that case, you'll not be able to see the output. You will see that there is no SDK setup done. So over here on the top right corner, you will see that the setup the Go SDK path or the Go root path. And then other thing is, if you have the workspace that is not under the directory of user local go, then you need to have the go path in the bash profile. Other than these two common issues, you have to ensure that you have the adequate resources for development of go. So if you go to the goland IDE setup requirement, then you will find that the hardware requirements consist of 2 giga of RAM minimum, 4 giga is what I recommend, 1.5 giga of hard disk space and at least 1 giga for maintaining the cache and then 1024 by 768 minimum screen resolution and at the same time you need the Java 1.8 and uh, which comes with the Goland distribution. It's also okay to have Java 1.8 or 1.9 setup already on your computer and then for Windows what are the system requirements or the software requirement for Mac OS what are the software requirement for Linux what are the software requirements so make it sure that you fulfill all of these requirements then you have the IDE and then you import the FMT package and you are good to go so this is the first Hello World application in Golang. I believe that it was very simple. And that's it for now.